you cannot leave your son and your daughter when mm. he or she is five years, mm. then you disappear and go to look for money for 10 years, yeah. you will find that person being 15 years, mm. not five years. Yeah. So you can't come and pick parenting from, from where you left. left your son and your daughter at five years, mm. and then now you want to begin from there. No, you're now dealing with a teenager. Mm -hmm. you're, not, you're not dealing now with a child. And you see now, at teenager, you are not their role model. You are not even their hero. You Social media, their peer pressures are the ones that are their role model. So there are things that we need to be very careful about. Yes. I think we have become so much money-minded. We don't mind our children. We even leave them with our mothers and our fathers. Mm. We go and look for money. And we say, we, we, we shall they die? And no one has ever died because of lack of money. In, in Africa, we have a way of surviving and getting food. <laughs> you can even go to the dustbin and eat, and God will make sure you will not even diarrhea. Yeah. You think <laughs> of what happens to the, to the chokoras. Mm. You know the children who are in the streets. They have never died of malaria. And they sleep under the bridges. Sure. You know we have, rains, a, and you see there is no, there is no winter. Mm -hmm. That if winter comes, they will die of cold outside. God makes you sure, He sustains them. Yeah. So for me, much more as we want to get rich. It, more important, can we enrich our children mm -hmm. with our character, with our morality? Yeah. The same thing that our parents also sacrificed not to have too much money, but they gave us their morality. Mm -hmm. To some extent, that has kept us to this far that we are in. Mm. in our society. As a society, I don't know what can be done, but maybe they're just, this is just a call to awakenness. One, if there is just a way, one day, it is my prayer that this company that produces porn, one day it just get disbanded <laughs> all over the world. It's not even serving the humanity. It should just be disbanded because it's the cause of many, many dark sexual offenses. That, uh, secondly, how I wish men would just rise up. He created man. Mm. Fast. Yes, mm. man To be fast. a caretaker. The man, the man was mandated to take charge of all these things, you mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. And he was told after multiplying, there is, if you use amplified version, that take charge. Mm. Then after that, after creating man, God Akasema, it is not good for man to be alone. Yeah. It is not good. Otherwise, mm -hmm. man would have just done well with the animals. Mm -hmm. So, a woman was added in the equation, but this means a man has the capacity to protect every woman, mm -hmm. every, every female that is under mm -hmm. your custody. Mm -hmm. It could be even just a neighbor's child. You are seeing the, the neighbor is molesting that innocent child. You don't close your eyes and say it's none of your business. You have to report. Mm -hmm. There is a molestation going on, on in families, but people are keeping quiet because they want to look like they are an organized family. These people need to be reported. Me, I say, even if today I hear one of my brothers, even a kid brother, mm -hmm. done or offense, sexual offense, they will be reprimanded. Yeah. That's how serious I am because this thing is like people have taken it so normal. Mm -hmm. You will molest a person and say, ah, is it, it's happening. We need to have a voice, we need to be sober as a society, we need to have mm. men rising, men of God, normal men, sons, we need to empower them to know that sexual offense is a bad sin that corrupts the, a person's soul, mm. mind and spirit. Yeah. It doesn't just affect their body. So we need to rise up and things that are not serving us, mm. we go just... You asked about what could be the effect of this person being most at a young age. Yes. One of them is also you see people becoming gays. Mm. Most of them say that you know I was molested mm, by, by my dad, by my uncle. Mm, yeah, oh. yeah. Because uh, as we said, sometimes these things are spirit. Mm. Because you see, if I am a man or I'm a young boy and then I am molested, I mm -hmm. should be running away from mm. men. Mm. But you find that now you begin getting attracted to men, mm -hmm. which is not very normal. After initiation. Uh, you find that it's like an initiation thing. So mm. someone sleeps with a child. Uh, I was watching one of the shows on YouTube and he says that uh, I went to visit my uncle. After visiting him, I slept. He raped me. In the morning, it was blood everywhere. And from that day, I just want to be near men. Mm. So you see, that's like a spirit that was mm. just cast on him, and then mm. it became us. You see now, the person who is, who, is, who, is, who is practicing homosexuality in you mm. already has those spirits of homosexuality. Mm -hmm. So he can only give what he has. Oh, yeah. That's why you find if you someone was sodomized, mm -hmm. they are likely to become homosexual. Instead of hating, mm -hmm. why? Because the demons, the, the, the homosexual, homosexual spirits mm. are passed through that. 
are passed through the inners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're getting that. Mm. So it's not like it's actually demonic. It's actually satanic. Mm. There's demons and there's spirits that get into us. Look at it. A girl is 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 sexually abused by another woman, mm. uh -huh. and, and she and, and they, they and she end up being a lele. Uh -huh. Why? Why are you becoming a lesbian? Because the spirit of lesbianism came out from this woman and entered you. Mm. Okay. And that's why the Bible says, bad company corrupts good morals. Mm. No matter how good you are, mm. and someone has some demons, have some spirits, they are likely to, 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 to get in you through association. Mm. And, and that's why I'm very happy with what Beridi said. Mm. This is repovers. We are very demonic. Mm. We must refuse to sleep over us. Yeah. No matter what excuse your son and your daughter mm. will give you, as a parent, you must become mad. Yes. Because they might go sleep with a boy who they don't know is a, mm. is a, a gay. Is a gay. Kind of of, and then that spirit yeah. will get into him innocently and he begins to begin to desire. He may yeah. even not that doing it. By the virtue that there is that association, because your son, your daughter may not know the sexual pattern of their friend. Mm. They only meet in school. Mm. You see that? They only meet in school when they are composed for school but this person could be living a very dirty life at night so if they go to sleep in that house you get the point you find that these spirits can easily get access yeah. because they are legally there they are the ones who have brought themselves into the legal ground of where these things are practiced mm. so we have to be very 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 uh, what would i say very tough mm. to our parents uh, to our children sorry and tell them no sleep of us yeah. you go do anything else but don't sleep don't sleep outside. Yeah. No matter what excuses given, we must refuse. That. Otherwise, there are demons. Who, who will say mm. that, uh, you know, you are now saying no sleepovers, mm. but how will my children get to know their cousins, their relatives? Yeah. They meet and, and during they, the day. They, they you know, they, 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 their parents will argue like that, and I want you to talk to them. Mm. Because now you are saying uh, they, will not, they will grow not knowing their people, because they are always independent. So I, how, how will they socialize? I think this thing is <laughs> You find that yes. now schools have closed. Yes. I send my children to the village. Mm. Okay, I'll never do that. Yes. Mm. I, I'll never do that unless I am there. Thank you. Okay. I always say I'll travel All with them. Right. I'll uh -huh. travel them to the village, we yes. spend right. three days, we uh -huh. come back. Go with them. Uh -huh. But go and stay with the auntie, go mm -hmm. and stay with the uncle. Mm -hmm. And also something I wanted to say is that uh, I think we need men needs to heal. Men needs to heal mm -hmm. in this society. It's very dangerous. I was looking at a Facebook post the other day, someone said, jokingly, May your daughter marry a man like you. And people are like, back to the center, never. You, I can never allow my daughter to marry a man like me. I don't want it. No, 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 no. Never, ever, never, ever. So it's already we know who we are. And very few men were saying, yes, I'll want my daughter to marry a man like me. And, yeah, I'm, and, and, and I'm still saying, I'm doing, I'll wish, I'll wish I don't marry a man like me. And I would want this, these words to connect the day I get old. Yes. So that I don't change somewhere else. Because if we should reach a point whereby we want these daughters to be, first of all, mm -hmm. we should be their role models mm -hmm. in their houses. Role we as men. Of men. Mm -hmm. Who a man should be, yeah, if, if, they should if, learn from the first yes. person who is the father. When, when, when a, 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 someone says that, may your sons marry a woman like you, say, yes, I want it to be that way. Mm. May, may my sons get a woman like me. Not, ah, back to the center, I don't want. Let them find someone else. So who will, who, who, who do we want these kids to emulate? They are growing with us in the house. We are the first people they are looking up to. Mm. And then we are the first people to disappoint them. We are the first people to rape them, to molest them. So who will they look up we to? We introduce sure? them to mm. pornography. Yes, but we are the ones now, our phones, we can't leave them with our daughters. Mm. Because if our kids get our phones in the gallery, phones, major, gallery major, in major, 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 and the, so number, number one, you should say that I would yeah. like my sons to be like me. Amen. Number wow. One. Then number two, you should also be saying that I would like my sons to marry mm. women like me. Yes. See, you as a mother. Yeah. I would also say that I would like my daughters mm. to marry men like me. Mm -hmm. But you said that you want someone to marry a daughter like uh, you don't marry a man like you say, I mean me a panel. Let her look for let her look for someone like Pastor Monene, but mm -hmm. not me. Why not you? <laughs> you know, if people actually had that thought pattern, yes. wow. I think uh, marriages they will just be born again. Mm -hmm. People will just be different. Yeah. What you just said. Mm -hmm. If I was thinking that I want my son mm. to be like me when he is married, mm. when he has married. Yeah. I want my daughter to be like the mother. Mm. Let me tell you, mm -hmm. nobody will tell me to work on myself. Oh yes. It will be, you'll work on it on your own. I will mm. put every effort. It and there's something you always, you, yes. I, you, I always mm. hear you saying every now and then, mm. yes. that 
your children should first learn from you. Yes. You should be your marriage should be the first inspiration to your children, mm -hmm. not even to the people watching us or anywhere that. No, 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 no. Let your kids first say, "I want to be like, in a marriage like for mom." Yes. And, and you know what? That's the. I think that's the first accomplishment or achievement the, on this earth. The reason oh, yes. why mm. we send our children to learning institution, mm. the primary, high school, and university, mm -hmm. is to go and do biology. Yeah chemistry, mm. mathematics, sure. and that is what they learn. Yes. But when they come at home, it's not about mathematics. Mm -hmm. It's not about biology. Mm. That's a place now to learn mm. morality. Yes. yes. Character. Culture. Culture. Yeah. How to be in a family. Behavior. Mm. And what will sustain them and help them mm. is not what they learned in school. Mm. No. So as you have said, I just wanted to emphasize on mm -hmm. that. Most of the times we are so concerned about the academic performance of our children. Yes. But we forget that the most important aspect of life is when a child or when a person succeeds, number one, as Pastor has said, in your morality. Mm. Morality, your character, your behavior. Mm. Number two thing is their emotions. Are they able to control their emotions and especially yes. negative emotions? Mm. And even positive, because there is a there is a place where happiness can go mm. and now it, mm. it it turns opposite opposite the other way mm. around. So emotional also wisdom is also very important. Mm -hmm. Social wisdom Mm. It's also very important. Are they able to relate with other people? Mm. You know, do, are you able to? Are they? Are they able to stay with the same sex and the opposite sex yeah. and stay at peace without commotion? Mm -hmm. And so, I think those are areas that we need to work on, and those can only be worked on at home. That that can't happen. Yes. If I'm always chasing after how my career can advance better, mm -hmm. how I can further my studies, yes. how I can buy another land, how I can, and I've left my marriage out. Yes. We said that we always invest in so many things. I'm taking a program after another program. Mm -hmm. As you know, I've just enrolled for another PhD. Mm -hmm. My wife's also enrolling for another master's. They'll also be looking how they can get good grades. Yes. But now their morals have been left behind. Mm -hmm. I think we should, if, if, if our kids can see us going for these marriage conferences, wow. they are seeing us going for teens, teens mentorship. Mm -hmm. They are seeing now kids are being in whatever come for a fellowship. We discuss things about family, about marriage. Mm -hmm. They'll grow up whole. Than, than, than we are some, someone who is in a gym, who is very wide, big up, but mm -hmm. the legs are thin legs. Like, yeah, yes. we, are, we are very imbalanced. Mm -hmm. I think as much as we push them to perform well in school also, we tell them, apart from school, the things that we need to be, to be a, a better man. I want to be a good father in future. I want to be a good mm -hmm. husband in future. Wow. I want to be a good wife. As much as you want to be a, a mother, you want to be a good wife and a mother to your children. The just is not about getting good girls, about going to a better school or about that. Mm. This is good, but also there's a spiritual aspect of them, there's also the, 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 the wisdom part of them. They also need to worry about morally and other aspects and just getting good grades. Mm. And that's why mm. the greatest academy is not, you know, um, school. Yes. Mm. The best academy will be always home academy. Home academy. Home academy. If I may yeah. call it that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where the mother and the father, mm. they are there. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it will be a totally messed up uh, institution. Mm -hmm. It's like telling me, I send my children to school mm -hmm. and the teachers are not there. Mm -hmm. So it is also in the family. Yes. If wow. the father and the mother, they are not there, mm -hmm. it is the same measure. You are sending your children to school, but the teachers are absent. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. What will happen? They will not succeed academically. Mm. They will they fail. Yeah. They need to be guided. Mm. So at home, the same measure. That's if the powerful. father and the mother are not That's there, the analogy. home academy, the family academy, mm. it will collapse. It will fail. That's why you find our children are having out of problem. Because the teachers at home is not the biology teacher, the chemistry teacher. Mm. It is the father and the mother. And their subject is morality, character, values. Wow. That is what they teach. Mm. <laughs> you see? Wow, that's powerful. <laughs> that's <laughs> deep. Yes. So that's deep, Pastor Monet. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, so that's very deep. deep. Yes. Because what yeah. you are saying, if mm. it can be taken so seriously, yes. is a crucial point of fixing healing. society. Mm. Yes. Mm. The beginning of yes. healing our mm. society, mm. healing as a humanity, mm. begins from home. Homeschooling, exactly. home culture. Mm. People have just forgotten that part of home skills. In mm. fact, people, when they ask you nowadays, what do you do? When you begin to list your achievements, mm. it is like, I bought a car, I bought a house, 
nobody talks about the welfare of the children. Mm -hmm. But the, the thing is, mm -hmm. it is way crucial having mm -hmm. a fixed home mm -hmm. than achieving all these things. Mm -hmm. Very because true. we have people who look all right mm -hmm. on the outside, but deep inside we have wounded beings mm -hmm. who later on create a very wounded society. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we will have to have, uh, people need to encourage, mm -hmm. especially moms. We, as much as we are pursuing career, we need to know, have that conscious intention of just creating time for your children. Mm. The first time, the first few years or few months of you having little, little babies, I don't even see, okay, if there was a way, people having different reasons and priorities, but if there was a way, the first one year, mama kind of work. There's a time she, she was saying that I feel like I'm not doing anything, it's like I'm, I'm not doing anything in my life. Mm -hmm. I told her, look at this child. She's now almost six months. Mm -hmm. This child is growing because of you. Mm -hmm. This child is, is thriving so that from you, you are feeding this child. This child mm -hmm. is getting healthy, he's eating, he's becoming lively, he's running around because of you. You have done more than what any other person could do. Because even, even if we'll pay someone to to feed this child, she won't do it as you are doing it. You mm, are the mother. So yeah. just raising a life and giving that life purpose is the biggest achievement you can ever do. I, yeah, that's very I true. may go and earn millions, but my children are suffering. I may have achievements like Nelson Mandela as the most fighting for my country, mm -hmm. but my children are dying in HIV and they, 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 have, mm. they have no purpose. Mm. But you can remain there, yes, I have not done anything, but look at my children. I've raised them who can be trusted by anyone, mm. someone who wish to employ them, someone who wish them to marry their daughters. People will be saying, hey, because they are seeing how your child has been, has mm. been that's very when they look in the society and they say Nani's son is different, I would be proud if he marries my daughter. Or Nani's daughters are the best. If my son can get one of them, mm. that's the best achievement you can ever have. Then your kids are lost in clubs, nightclubs, are always there going, go, going through uh, windows, uh, yes. engaging in shisha or whatever. And then you are saying that I have built an empire. That's not an empire. Mm. The best empire that's is built true. at home. The first legacy should be family. Mm. Yeah. Sure. So one of the things that is contributing to all this sexual abuse is because there is a dysfunctional husband mm. and a dysfunctional mother. Mm -hmm. Or one of mm. them is making the other person's life difficult. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you have said, mm. the man has a great, great role mm. in every family to make sure that he provides the peace yeah. that is provided, mm. that is needed. Because women cannot be able to bring up children in a toxic environment. Mm. You know, it becomes very difficult. It will, she will not be able to function well. Mm. And when a woman is also distorted by the husband, mm. the same confusion goes to the children. And I think that's why now we have a very a very different generation altogether mm. because women are so disturbed mind wise they are not okay mm. and so from the abundance of the heart that's the kind of a generation that mm. they are bringing mm. out because a mother spends more time with the children more than even a father mm. but it is because I, as, as technology is increasing mm. man has a tendency to think that they don't need God mm -hmm. now they have enough knowledge we have enough money we have what we need to make life. Mm. But I think that's also a myth. Why would we think that we don't need God? Just because you have a name, you have money, you have what you have physically. I think that's a serious deception. Mm -hmm. Where are you living? Because this world does not belong to you. It belongs mm. to God. Yeah. In the first place. Mm. Actually, you are, you, are, you are in a rental place. Mm -hmm. You're a rental place though you have built that place. Mm. Because the earth belongs to God. Mm. So I don't know why we, we tend to think that if you have some little education, you are known, you have money, you have what you need for life, mm. cars and a house, you don't need God. I think that's when you need God more. Mm. That's when you need God more. Mm. Yeah. Because the more you have, the more you need God's protection, yeah. the more you need God's wisdom to be able to handle all these things. And you also be able to handle your children in that environment without, without them becoming toxic, without yeah. them getting out of the way. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think uh, it's uh, uh, the way the word of God says that the, the heart of a man, Jeremiah, is it 5, verse 7, verse 9? Mm -hmm. eh? Jeremiah 17, mm -hmm. I think Jeremiah 17, verse 9 says, the heart of man is desperately wicked. wicked. Mm -hmm. You know, who yeah. can understand it? Mm -hmm. I think that's where the heart of a man is. Mm -hmm. We tend to think just because you have a name, you have this, you have, you are okay, but you are not okay. 
if really you are not generational. And mm. to be generational, mm. it's not acquiring all these things that we think mm. they're important. It's more investing in your daughter and your son. Mm. It were better if your children get got destroyed. But you know, as a mother and a father, you mm. did what was humanly possible, mm. you know, to your capacity mm. to make sure that you gave them God, you gave them morality, you gave them emotional stability, you gave them social skills, mm. much more as you topped up their education. Mm. So we have failed by what Pastor Monene has just said. Mm. We are not present mm. to and teach then, our children. And then there's something mm. that we, we, when we also understand that we are just stewards. Mm. Caretakers. We are caretakers of oh, yes. these children. Mm -hmm. And you know, there's a reason why God gives you these children mm. and not that other family. Yeah. Yes. There's a reason why this person is struggling to have children and you are having them. Mm. But now when you begin being absent and now you think that you can uh, you can compensate that absentness with the toys. You say, that, I see mm. what you are by school, are you okay? Mm. When I come out, do I bring you again? I mm. bring you a car, what else do you yeah, want? So you, mm, so you think now, <laughs> when you just give, send them money, you bring them a, this toy, now you are now being responsible. Mm. There are things that you have been saying that cannot be delegated. You cannot Sex delegate. Sex is being one of them. Parenting. And then parenting is another one. And you can't pick on parenting. Yeah, you can't. Uh, Pastor Monone says, you cannot leave your son and your daughter. When mm. he or she is five years, mm. then you disappear and go to look for money for 10 years you will find that person being 15 years not five years yeah so you can't come and pick parenting from, from where you left your son and your daughter at five years mm -hmm. and then now you want to begin from there no you're now dealing with a teenager mm -hmm. you know you're not dealing now with a child and you see now at teenager you are not their role model you are not even their hero you social media their peer pressures are the ones that are their role model so there are things that we need to be very careful about yes. i think we have become so much money minded we don't mind our children. We even leave them with our mothers and our fathers. Mm. We go and look for money. And we say, we, we, we shall they die? And no one has ever died because of lack of money. In, in Africa, we have a way of surviving and getting food. <laughs> you can even go to the dustbin and eat. And God will make sure you will not even diarrhea. Yeah. You think of what happens to the, to the chokoras. Mm. You know the children who are in the streets. They have never died of malaria. And they strip under the bridges. Sure. You know, we have a, and, and you see, there is no, there's no winter. Mm -hmm. That if winter comes they will die of cold outside god makes you sure he sustains them yeah. so for me much more as we want to get rich it's more important can we enrich our children mm -hmm. with our character with our morality yeah. the same thing that our parents also sacrificed not to have too much money but they gave us their morality mm -hmm. to some extent that has kept us to this far that we are in mm -hmm. so i think what pastor Monena is saying is we have parents who are actually completely absent even parents. absent mm -hmm. they are not, and if they are present then they are busy on their phones mm -hmm. like i keep asking yeah, parents mm -hmm. why would you say that you spent time you spent a weekend with your daughter and your son mm -hmm. and you took them to a bouncing castle you know to jump jump for two hours you took them to skating they spent time with the bouncing castle they Not spent you. time with the skating <laughs> they never spent time with you yeah. you know that you went for lunch with them and you only ate lunch within 10 15 minutes you are done then throughout you are on tiktok just because you are seated in the same table mm -hmm. that's another mm -hmm. myth just because you are seated in the same table and you are on TikTok and you spend time with them. Then after that, you put them in the car and you go and say, we, were, we had two hours with my daughter and son. But you are actually on the phone. You get that? That's a very serious deception. That you took them to go and play. You know, in a fun, like we have so many hotels where there are these places where you can take your children. But remember, you are not playing with your daughter. You left them with the people who own those institution so at the end of the day you find mm. you really didn't have that connection yeah. you never even played with them never you never even connected you never talked you just gave them for two three four hours left them skating then come and pick them and for you you have spent together with your children spending time together is talking mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is communication yes mm. you know is telling them things that pertain to life mm. and, and 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 godliness mm -hmm. that's your responsibility your communication yeah. is very important Wow. So I think parents, we have missed out in parenting, mm -hmm. but by God's grace, I hope that these episodes are going to help you yeah. to be able to do it because we also learn as we also teaching you. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yes. That and that's why I would say that uh, if you don't know what to talk to your children, invest in seminar. Invest in conferences. Mm -hmm. Yes. We keep on doing these meetings now and then. Yes. I mean, go to the internet. There's a lot of information. Oh, yes. You can be able to 
check what um, how do you raise a teenager uh -huh. as a father? Mm. How do you talk to a daughter? How do you talk to a daughter? How do you a talk son? to a son? These things you can get oh, them yes. from the internet. Mm -hmm. Then don't be too busy. If you can pay beer for your friends, what mm -hmm. is two thousand or three thousand <laughs> sure. or five thousand mm. to invest into your daughter? Exactly. And your son. Buy books. Like you've got one of our books called Naked and Not Ashamed. Mm -hmm. Have you ever bought it? It will help you as a married person. Mm -hmm. It will help you in your family. Very, very important. And for the teenagers, let's talk about sex as parents. Exactly. We have that book. Mm -hmm. Invest in it. Invest mm -hmm. in knowledge. Oh, yes. Have something that you can be able to share. Mm. When you do that, the Lord will bless you. Amen. Wow. Most of the times, abuses happen because parents are absent, either absent or naive. Mm. So it's a call for parents or guardians, and especially the male gender, mm. to rise up to occasion and protect, take charge as God mandated, protect that human being that is with you. And if you are a, past, a parent, you can never repeat the class of parenting, mm -hmm. so you have to be present. You, can, you cannot afford to be an absentee parent and be blaming teachers and be crying to your relatives while the child is getting spoiled. Mm -hmm. We cannot delegate our duties to the households and the house managers because we, we are looking for money. Mm -hmm. The life of a person dictates their generation and their future, so we may have to choose or count the cost, which one is the priority, their life or the short term gains. So I hope this episode helps us and may we rise up as a society, as a family and may healing come. Yeah. I also think that what we are seeing as questions coming in, yes. there are symptoms. But as we are trying to address the root cause, mm. if we can deal with this issue of being there for our children, being there for our families, being the role models, I think we'll have a very good generation of fathers in the future. Mm -hmm. A generation of children will not be living in traumas and, uh, and broken. Also, I think that uh, what we are saying here is that let us try to invest time with our children. Being there, can, as I've just said, that you can be there but not there. Mm. You can you can say the whole weekend I've been with my children, but you've not been there. Actually. Mm, you have not. They been have been there. there with their toys. They have been there mm. with the horses riding mm. in the park. Yeah. But you have not been there. Mm. Then still, then still, that vacuum still has to be filled by you. And then lastly, let me be that father who I want my daughter to marry a man like me. Let me be that man whereby I will want my sons to be like me. Let me not say no, let them look for somebody else who is better than them. Watch what come a church, come a nanny, but see me. Mm -hmm. Let us be the first role models for our children Amen. and be raising a good family. It will, in fact, it will also heal us. I'm masturbating, no. Let me stop because that you don't appear. I'm masturbating. Yeah. Also, let us know that we are raising generation. Mm. Uh, this my son, he's also going to be a father to others. Mm. So as a generation, we are also stewards of these children mm. from God. Thank you so much. Until next time, this, this is, is Naked and Not Ashamed Show. show.